Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. Um, as you can see, I have no makeup, no paint on the old barn this morning, but I'm going to attempt to show you my five-minute face routine. Now, whether or not that's going to work out, don't know, but we'll give it a shot. Uh, for time constraints, I've already moisturized. I have done my morning uh, skin routine. I was asked to kind of go over my skincare routine. Uh, first off, you need to realize I, I, cameras just cover a multitude of sins because I have more wrinkles on my face than a, a men's summer sear sucker suit. So, you know, it may be pretty deceiving being on camera. And so, the first thing I do in my um, a skincare routine each morning is to um, get a washcloth and I like to get a I like to use the ones that are a little bit textured I don't want real real soft ones and I soap it up real good scrub my face and the the texture of the washcloth I feel like does all the exfoliating that needs to be done rinse it that's it uh, next step I use this is L'Oreal Collagen and I get it at the grocery store or you can get it at Walmart, uh, Target, anywhere, CVS, anywhere. It's like less than $10 and it lasts me a good two months. Put that on all over my face and neck. I have uh, used a moisturizer every single day of my life as long as I can remember and I think that helps. Um, started when I was a little girl, my daddy would always put lotion on my face uh, whenever I would be, you know, get out of the bathtub, whatever. So, first step, cheap, cheap-ass uh, moisturizer, collagen, uh, preferred. It, they say it helps, maybe it does, I don't know. And now to get on with it. The one thing that I have found when I first started hearing about primers, I didn't realize that they really work. Um, I thought, yeah, right, just another way to sell us a product. But I did it just like everybody else. So I use the e.l.f. It's the pink one. It's the uh, poreless primer. And the reason I know this works, I forgot to use it one day. And when I finished and I got my magnifying mirror to put on my uh, mascara, I went, holy crap. And the, the difference in the pores was unbelievable. So this really, this does work, ladies. So I'm telling you, use it. Uh, there's a million types out there. There's expensive. There's the inexpensive. I love the e.l.f. So anyway, I just use a little dab of that on my hand. And when I say a little dab, that much. Tiny bit. Put that on there. Let's rub it together. And I concentrate on where the pores are now. I'm going to be looking in this little mirror behind us uh, so I won't be doing this totally blind but that's all it takes. I mean it doesn't take much at all. I think you, if you put uh, too much it doesn't work as well so you just want to use a little bit. Concentrate on your areas where you have pores. Now e.l.f. has about five different formulations for their, their primer, all kinds of different things so you could uh, use whichever works for you. Let me get my magnifying mirror because I'm, I'm pretty blind so we need to uh, make sure I can see a little bit. First step, this is, let me put my glasses on, I'm blind without them. This is Maybelline uh, Superstay. And I have mine in, uh, what color? It's pretty light color. Uh, warm Nude is the color I selected. And all I do is I just take one drop of this on my, um, on my brush. One drop, period. That's it and just start dotting it all over my face. That's all I want to do. I don't want to, I'm not trying to get uh, evening glamour full coverage. This is my everyday, got to run to the grocery store, got to go to Walmart thing. And, you know, just uh, use your foundation brush if that's what you like. You can use a, a 
sponge, which I'm going to come in with in a second, but let's get this on. Okay, I've got that smeared all over there. Now, I do like to come in with my sponge and, uh, let me fix this, I like to come in with the sponge and just kind of press it in. Just press it. That's it. I don't want to, uh, I, I don't know, it just seems like if you press it in, it seems to stay longer. Don't want to take a lot of trouble with it, but, okay, so we got the foundation on. That took all of, what, maybe a minute, uh, if even that. Next step, love this NYX concealer. It um, has several different concealer colors. It has a color corrector. The first thing I do with it is I use the color corrector, which is this kind of pinkish uh, peach color. I know that it doesn't make sense, but it works. I put that on my eyelids. Uh, my eyelids tend to have a little bit of reddening on them. I guess that's from being real old. So I just uh, dab that on. Well, yeah, that took 15 seconds. Next step, I like the yellow. It, it tends to brighten under my eyes a little bit, so I just smear a little bit of that. And just, I use what God gave me, the brushes at the end of my hands that he gave me on a lot of this stuff. Once I get that done, then I'm going to go ahead and come in with a, a regular concealer color, this one up here, and try to cover up a little bit of those ugly bags. I'm going to use my sponge, and let's just get this all kind of taken care of there. Okay, we're good on that. Now I take a little bit and come down my nose with it. It just kind of brightens it a little bit. That's it. Done. Okay, we got that part done. Next is to set this, uh, like I said, the primer. And I have just started using this. It's been around for about 643 years. And it is the Airspun uh, Translucent Loose Powder. Use that for setting my makeup. And what I do is I just take a little bit, not much at all, tap it into the, um, just put a little bit in here. Tap it into the lid just like this. You can see there's not much in there. And I don't want to use too much of it, so I get it in there and then I shake it all over to the side. Now I'm going to go in there, I'm going to dip, hit that, come over here, and I just push it on. Go in again. Go in here and just push it on. Now I also go up over my eye because remember, I put that little bit of color corrector there. Okay, and then the next thing I want to hit with it, my eyebrows, because I went over them with the, um, went over that as well with the um, foundation. So we want to get that set. Okay, let's let that set for just a minute. But I'm not through with it. I haven't put it up yet. I'm not through with this yet, so we're going to hold on to that for a minute. Next step, eyebrows. This is the most difficult to do quickly. Um, I just seems like I don't have much left in the eyebrow department. I'm trying to find my brush here. I use several brushes on my eyebrows. But what I'm going to do today, do it quick quick and dirty. Take my, I think this is probably NYX or cheap, whatever, some kind of little uh, eyebrow pencil. I use eyebrow pencil. I use uh, some brown eyeshadow. I've got pomade of different things. It depends on how quickly I want to get it done. And so, let's see here how quickly we can get this done today. I have to put my glasses on to do it because I can't see. Okay, y'all. I'm going to have to bring the mirror up closer. I hope y'all don't mind. Just a moment. Let's see if we can get these babies drawn on. And, you know, like they tell you, they're not twins. They're only sisters. So, oh, yeah, we 
screwed that up pretty bad right there. Uh, they're only sister species. I'm not even trying for a sister look. I'm not trying for a second cousin by marriage look. I'm looking for if they're the same species, then, then we're good. Okay, so this girl right here don't look too terrible. So now we're going to take her and we're going to brush her up. Get that kind of mixed in. Oh, that looks like a big bunch of dog crap, but that's all right. Big bunch of crap. Now let's go to the next one. Basically, all I'm doing is just trying to get somewhat of a shape. Now, if I were, if this were not my five minute makeup, believe me, I'd take a whole lot more time with these. They would look a whole lot better, but today, this is good enough. We're just wanting to make sure we got a little bit to go out in public because we don't want people in public thinking that we're a dork. Maybe they think it anyway. I, no, I am a dork, but they don't need to know that. They don't need to know everything about my business. Okay, let's get this one kind of brushed up. I got to get in the light. Get them all brushed up here, and they are good to go. Now, you notice I have not put any eyeshadow on. I'm not going to. This is five minutes. Okay, next step, take the glasses back off. Now, we are going to come in with this powder. Remember, I said I left some in the lid. Get it all over to one side, because we want just the very tiniest amount. And we're going to dot it on. We're going to dot it over those big old eyebrows, those cat calipitters. That's what my granddaughter used to call caterpillars. She called them calipitters. So let's put it over our calipitters and all over, all the way down our neck. This doesn't really have a smell. might have just a tiny bit of a smell, but it feels so light and airy and good. Done with that. Okay. Have we gone five minutes yet? Oh. Oh my God, I'm getting scared. What if I what if I run over? What are we gonna do? Oh my gosh. Okay, Daisy Doodle wants to go kill the people out in front of our house, I guess. So glasses on again. I don't use a lip liner on a daily basis. I use the L'Oreal. It's a two part. I can't remember what it's called. Maybe Color Stay or whatever the L'Oreal brand is. And it is the uh, like 12 16 hour color in one end then it's got the little uh it's got the little gel thing in the other one i go with a nude and my reason for doing this is to get a base on my lips i've always had a really hard time with my lips getting them to um keep the right color colors tend to change on me so we i put this on and because it dries just almost instantaneously you don't need to line them it will serve as your lip liner so here we go okay so see it's just i don't know it's like a primer a foundation i use for my lips it, it's a lipstick it's not a any kind of primer or foundation but that's the way i use it okay and, uh-oh, all over my teeth, with this color, it just seems like I can use any color over it, and it tends to last longer, and it tends to stay true to the color. So we got our lips done while they're drying. We're going to go to our next step, which is let's get some blush on. Blush brush. We'd like to have a little blush. So... Get my blush and tap, tap, tap. They say to go down on the apples of your cheeks. I do not go that far down because my apples have fallen down to, they look like, um, what's a round fruit that has fallen down? Anyway, once once I start getting older, if I put it there, look like a big old clown, I just kind of start up here and go over my brow bone. Uh, my brow, not my brow bone, whatever this thing is, cheekbone. There we go. That's a brow bone. This is a cheekbone. So we do this. Get us a little color going. Shut that down. Uh, this is dry now. 
and it's very drying on my lips. So I got to get something over it pretty quick. And I've really been into this really pretty uh, L'Oreal. I love L'Oreal makeup. L'Oreal, and it's peony pink. And I don't know what the heck it, it you know it's in this real pretty gold tube and it's just the prettiest uh, everyday pink so I put that on over what I've already got so let me get a mirror here to get that done Whoop, that one's my big old um, magnifying I can't see okay uh -huh. I just think that is the prettiest color. I don't know if y'all like it or not, but I do. And it's so creamy that it takes any dryness away from the, the mat that I have used underneath it. Now, throughout the day, if I need to, I you know, if I feel like I need to moisturize, I'll just pop the other end off of the L'Oreal. And it's got the little uh, balm don't need it now. I feel very moisturized. My lips feel good, so I'm not worried about it one bit. We're almost done, ladies. Okay, eyes. I told you, no eyeshadow. I'm going to come in here with a, um, just a little brush. We're going to come in just with a little brush. And this icon palette i love it it's got the cutest colors in it it's got a few mattes it's got a few uh whoa uh mattes it's got a few little with sheen which is kind of nice to have sorry i dropped this but all i do on the everyday basis come in here and i'm gonna put let's we got to get a little bigger mirror i'm gonna come right underneath let me turn this way so you can see right underneath just to give my eye a tiny bit of definition. I'm using the black. And let's do the same. It's kind of a, I guess, a, it's not a blackest black black of the blackity black world. It's more of a, um, I want to say more of a charcoal black. Okay, so you see it there on the bottom. Let's go here on the top, get a little action going there. Just so my eyes don't look like they are a complete... Uh, just a hole in my face. Okay, that's it for the eyes. One, one tiny finishing touch. I'm going to come in here to the palette and I'm going to go with just a little bit of this light to, oh, sorry, to put on my brow bone. Just a tiny bit here on my brow bone. And that's it for my um, For the eyes, with the exception, of course, of mascara, which will do. I mean, a girl has to have her mascara. Okay, I think done just about everything. What I like to do before I do my mascara, I use the e.l.f. setting mist. And this just sets it all. Sets your face. Um, <clears throat> very cool, refreshing. And I'll give you one other little tip. As soon as I do this while it's drying, my eyelashes are damp. That's when I put on my mascara, and it seems to just glide on. Okay, so here we go. Oh, that feels so good. So refreshing. Okay, got that. Now, as promised, this mascara, I've run out of mascara. And this came in my little Ipsy bag, and I love, 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 love it. I'm going to use it all up before getting more. I typically will use either a L'Oreal mascara. It's my favorite one. I don't have it in here with me. Um, either that or Lancome. My daughters turned me on to that. It's way expensive, so I'd rather go with the, the L'Oreal. So anyway, I'll use one or the other, but you're going to have to excuse me. i got to have my thousand time magnifying to see my eyelashes. So let's put a couple of coats on. I'm going to come in here and we'll do it like everybody else. Do a wiggle, 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 wiggle. Get it on. And I don't know if you can see how well this goes on. Can you see it? Can you see the difference in them? Probably not. It's probably my imagination. But uh, another thing my daughter turned me on to was a product called 
BioSeal. And I purchase it at Sprouts, or you can get it at Whole Foods, places like that. And with the vitamins, it's a collagen, which is good for your nails and your lashes and your skin. And it's also for your uh, you know, wrinkles, fine lines and wrinkles. They say it helps. Uh, I have been taking that twice a day for the last several months, and it's amazing what it's done for my eyelashes. I kid you not. They have doubled in volume. They were almost all gone. I started using that. So just a little hint, BioSeal. They're uh, just little just little capsules you take twice a day. And honestly, it has made a tremendous difference in my lashes. I had on this lash over here on this eye, I had a big gap where they I completely lost them. And that gap has now closed up, and I've got lashes there. Now, remember, this is a, just going out, go to the grocery store, go to Walmart day. Don't need tons of mascara. We're going to put in a little on the bottom. I just wiggle it, pull it, wiggle, pull. I can't see well enough to do it like these young girls do and get them each individual lash. You know, just uh, fabulous and beautiful. So, anyway... Okay. All right, my darlings. We have got one step left. And then we've got our five-minute face on that's ready for the day. This came in my Ipsy bag as well. It's a highlighter. I'm sure you all have different highlighters everybody uses. Um, this one just really, really, really has a nice shine to it. So I'm kind of careful with it. I don't want to look like a clown. But what I do, the way I do it, is I just touch it. And then I come in here and highlight very lightly across here. Just enough to give me, when the light hits it, um, a nice little gleam across there. And I like to come right down the middle of my nose. And that last step that I always do, I take my brush that has bronzer on it from when I've been doing, you know, the full contour and all that stuff. My nose has gotten so big as I get older. I like to just come down the sides of my nose with the bronzer contour the tiniest little bit. I don't put any more on here. I just use what's already on it. And let's see about these jowls. These big old jowls. Let's get those. Kind of hit those a little bit. And ladies, I don't know if I did false advertising saying a five minute face. It doesn't seem like it took very much more than that. With me talking, of course, it took a little longer. Put my glasses on and I'm ready to go. I'm ready for the day. I hope you ladies enjoyed this. If there's any other um, videos, anything you'd like to see, let me know in the uh, comments below. And also, if you enjoyed this, if you'd like to see more videos like this, uh, be sure and click the subscribe button. And I'm also thinking about doing a vlog, if I can figure out exactly what a vlog is. I know I watch some people on YouTube that I really enjoy uh, them talking about their day or their blah, 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 whatever. So if I can figure out exactly what it is and how to do it, and if I don't even know if my life is interesting enough that anybody would ever want to hear anything about it, but it's kind of fun because now that I've retired, after working for 50 years, I'm thinking, you know, there's some people out there that might want to hear what a retiree does all day, and it might surprise you. Most days, I don't do a damn thing, but anyway, if you would uh, like to hear a little bit about my goings on with me and my daisy doodle dog she's my big great dane uh let me know in the comments below as well and until next video i will see you ladies later and have a wonderful wonderful day love you lots bye bye